Hello and welcome to Cat Live 24-7, where we live to rescue and spoil cats. As the holidays approach and families gather around the dinner table for Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners, you can be sure your cats are going to be gathering around that table as well, and they'll be expecting their treats. Now most of the things that we eat won't harm your cat, but there are a few that you really have to watch out for. Today we're talking 10 foods that could kill your cat or make it very ill. We will also discuss 10 foods that you can give your cat with some having great health benefits. And then lastly, we will cover five important foods that you should be giving to your cat regularly in order to maintain a healthy, balanced diet. So get your hot chocolate or coffee and grab a Danish, folks, and snuggle in with your kitties. This is going to be a fun one since who doesn't like talking about cats and food? Be sure to grab your notebook and write these down for later. Okay, here we go. Number 10. Grapes and raisins. While the exact reason why these are poisonous to pets remains unknown, there is strong evidence that feeding cats and dogs grapes or raisins can lead to kidney failure. So keep these far away from your cats. Number nine, we all know chocolate. Uh, chocolate contains a substance uh, called methyl acetylenes. It's a specifically a caffeine. They are very toxic to pets and can cause vomiting, diarrhea, tremors, seizures, and even death. The concentration varies among different types of chocolate. The cocoa powder is most dangerous, while the white chocolate is the least dangerous. Number eight, coffee or caffeine in general. It may fuel your daily success, but like chocolate, Caffeine contains that ingredient and uh, will have the same effects as listed above. Perhaps due to the cream, uh, cat owners have caught their cats drinking from their coffee mugs. And that's a big no-no for Fluffy. Not to mention, do cats really need more energy? Alcohol and raw dough is next at number seven. Drinks and foods containing alcohol can cause serious problems in pets, including vomiting, diarrhea, breathing difficulties, coma, and death. Raw dough causes expansion in the stomach or creates an alcohol in the stomach that can be fatal. Number six, onions, garlic, leeks, scallions, shallots, and chives are particularly harmful to cats, causing gastrointestinal problems and even damage to the red blood cells. Food containing these vegetables and herbs such as garlic breads should be avoided as well. Number five, raw fish, meat, or eggs. Raw fish or meat or eggs can carry bacteria that can cause food poisoning. And anybody that's ever had food poisoning knows that, that no cat or human deserves that. Next, number four, nuts. Specifically, macadamia nuts are toxic to pets. And like grapes, the exact mechanism of toxicity is unknown. Other types of nuts, including almonds, pecans, walnuts, are rich in oils and fats that can cause digestive upset and potentially even pancreatitis in cats. Number three, canned tuna. Feeding your cat a cat steady diet of canned tuna can cause malnutrition because it doesn't contain the necessary nutrients for a feline. Too much tuna can also increase the risk of mercury poisoning. Plus, radiation levels in tuna and wild-caught fish are at an all-time high and consumption for humans or animals has recently come into question, especially with the Fukushima situation. Next, number two, uncooked potatoes or tomatoes. Modern cat reports that raw potatoes and raw tomatoes can cause gastrointestinal distress, but they have no toxic effects if cooked. However, green potatoes cooked or raw can lead to cardiac issues, hallucinations, and paralysis. So make sure to keep them away from your cat. 
Xylitol is extremely toxic to cats. This is the number one. And even a small amount can cause a dangerous drop in blood sugar called hyperglycemia and even cause serious liver damage, both of which can be fatal. Now, foods that contain xylitol include baked goods, peanut butter, uh, drink powders, candy, pudding, uh, ketchup, uh, barbecue sauces, and even pancake syrups. If you're not already checking the ingredients on such items, you'd be surprised what's actually in our food. Keep this stuff away from your cats. A few honorable mentions that are not good uh, are unclean fish with the bone and chicken with this uh, still on the bone. A lot of people have been given cats fish bones and chicken bones for years, but they don't realize that a cat can choke on a bone and die relatively easy or have lifelong health issues. Bones can splinter and they cause an obstruction or they'll cut the inside of your cat's digestive system causing severe suffering, incredibly expensive procedures, and most likely a slow, painful death. Another one, fat and meat leftovers can be dangerous due to their high fat content. These foods can cause pancreatitis, which can become a life-threatening condition. Another one worth mentioning is dairy or milk products, as most feel like, what could be wrong with uh, offering your cat a saucer of milk or a piece of cheese? But most cats are lactose intolerant and their digestive system cannot process dairy foods and the result can be digestive upset with diarrhea. Whether or not dairy leads to serious health issues is still up for debate in most cat circles. Also, in general, anything high in sugar is not good for your cat and will upset their stomach or worse. And one last thing to mention here as we head into the holidays Stuffing is actually not a good idea and you have to be very careful because lots of the ingredients found in stuffing are dangerous to cats like the raisins, nuts, onions, grapes, things like that. Um, they will cause gastrointestinal issues and maybe worse. Next we're going to talk about 10 human foods that are okay and in some cases actually good to give your feed line. The reason we talk about these is because cats do get into things and not to mention many times we're looking for other things to mix in a cat foods to either give them more options uh, or help motivate them to eat. Many of these next 10 are actually healthy options for your kittens with numerous health benefits. Plenty, uh, plus many uh, come to realize that store-bought food isn't made with care. Uh, for the cats and we're starting to experiment with healthier and more loving meals for our babies. Number 10, cooked salmon. A good source of protein and omega-3 fatty acids, salmon can be a delicious and tasty treat for cats and is often already found in a lot of commercial cat food. Our cats simply love anything with salmon in it. Number 9, Gerber second stage meat based baby food in the little glass jars. That can be a great solution for cats that who are avoiding their food or recovering from being sick. It can also be useful in getting cats to take their medicine as the meat flavor really excites them. We, ma we mainly use the chicken and turkey uh, here at Cat Life. Number eight, cook eggs. Another good source of protein and B vitamins. Eggs are safe for your feline to eat as long as they're cooks. Uh, in order to reduce the risk of foodborne diseases. Just make sure they're cooked fully. Next, number seven, pumpkin. Not only is pumpkin low in calories and high in fiber, but it can also be an effective treatment for cats who suffer from abnormal stool or constipation. We actually give all of our cats a small amount of pumpkin mixed with their meal once or twice a week, just for healthy digestion. Next, some cheeses. Uh, this is good news for some cat people because from time to time even my crew will demand some fresh cheese and who am I to deny them since I can't live without it either. According to BeChewy.com, if your cat shows an interest in this feline friendly food, Dr. Wismer recommends feeding a hard cheese like cheddar, Swiss, or Gouda. These cheeses are high in calcium and protein. Number five, oatmeal. A good fiber, or excuse me, Number five, 
Oatmeal, a good filler, but just because oatmeal may be cat safe, not every feline will like it. So you'll want to introduce those foods slowly and make sure they like them before incorporating them into a regular part of your cat's diet. Oatmeal is a very good source of energy and B vitamins. Next, number four, yogurt. Yogurt is believed to be effective in treating diarrhea in cats as it does contain probiotics. Others feel that because it's a dairy that they wouldn't want to give it to their cats and they'll just give them a probiotic powder with their food. Next, there are some debate about grain and there's been a lot of talk about grain-free food and so forth. So make sure you do some research or talk to your vet before going this route. But whole grains are said by some to work well because they contain some essential proteins and fibers. They are usually easy to make as well. You are most likely already having some in your pantry. Uh, cornmeal, uh, brown rice, barley, millet, and so forth. You can all feed these to your cats in a pinch. Number two, I've been asked a lot about this. Uh, although an adult cat could probably stomach spam in an emergency, it's very high in sodium and should be avoided unless it's an emergency or life or death. Basically the same rule as with humans, uh, survival only. In fact, it's so high in sodium that kittens should never be fed this stuff. They're just too young. It's too much salt for their young systems. Number one, another kind of debatable in, uh, one here is avocados. Um, although it is mainly comprised of fat, which draws the cats in, it does contain a high volume uh, of vitamins and antioxidants. Both are important for a cat's health. Uh, according to Pet Poison Hotline, avocados do contain an oil soluble compound called perzin. This can be poisonous if, if consumed in large quantities. So just make sure it's a small amount and not very regularly. For here at Cat, us at Cat Life, it's mainly not worth the risk. Now, although your cats primarily eat cat food, which is specifically designed for their health and digestive needs, there are some human foods that can actually be great additions to your cat's normal diet. Lastly, we'll go over five human foods that you should give your kitty crew for their many, many health benefits. Number five, fresh greens. Besides fresh catnip and cat grass, giving your feline uh, friend diced or liquid greens such as parley, peas, celery, green beans, among others, can be highly beneficial. Just like with people, greens not only provide many vitamins and minerals, but they also provide cats with a healthy helping of photonutrients which provide valuable bioflavonoids and phenols that it impart extra health benefits and can help fight against cancer, autoimmune disease, and infections. Very important. Number four, fish oil is something you can benefit both species, uh, humans and animals, with a variety of options, including salmon and cod liver oil, the omega-3 in fish oil can prevent dry skin in the winter and keep your cat's coat healthy throughout the year. Number three, cooked or unseasoned meats like chicken, turkey, ham, or beef. Great source of lean protein. Fresh cooked meat can be a great choice for your cat as long as it's cooked thoroughly and the skin, which can be fatty, is removed. Next, number two, fruits. Many would be surprised to know that your cat can benefit from things uh, in the fruit family such as pears, cantaloupe, bananas, apples, watermelon, strawberries, blueberries. But beware, if you thought it was hard getting your kids to eat fruits, good luck with your feline friend. Small quantities pureed or mixed in with a meaty meal uh, should fool them, but uh, just experiment. Now, number one. The most important thing to put in your cat's food, the most important thing for uh, your cat's meals is actually water. Water makes up most of your cat's body and it is essential to most every metabolic function. Domestic cats have evolved to get most of their water from their food, not from a water bowl. So rather you add some water to their wet food or mix it in with their dry and let it soft, uh, soften and soak up, Water is actually the most important thing in your cat's food. 
Uh, also, every cat should have a high quality or stainless steel water fountain to promote drinking. But please be aware of low cost models that have an electrical shock danger. It happens more than you think, and I have had friends tell me they've had pets dam uh, uh, killed or injured by those uh, electrical shocks. Well, friends, I hope we've not only provided you some useful information that could save your cat's life, but we hope you've also given you some ideas and inspiration to give your furry friends some variety and some extra health benefits. Most cats need four to five ounces of canned or wet food per day, depending on weight. And some vets have told me that dry food, no matter what brand, is actually poison for the cats because of its lack of nutrients and lack of water. So do some research into this and talk to your vet. But with the cost、uh, rising of everything, sometimes we might be better suited giving our cats a combination of cat food and human foods. Just be sure to check and do your research and make sure your cat is getting a balanced diet. This cat life is an ever changing and always learning lifestyle, and we all owe it to our fur babies to research and always make sure that we're doing what's best for them. Not what's easiest or cheapest for us. With that in mind, the Clinical Nutrition Service says that there are several human foods that are generally considered to be safe for cats, as long as they don't account for more than 10% of your cat's daily intake. Unless you become a cat food maker and you're mixing a fully balanced meal, stick mostly to the canned cat food. Soon, Cat Life will be able to assist our supporters with free auto ship food and litter to show our appreciation to help with those costs, and just to say thank you from all the cats around the world that you are helping. Don't forget, friends, to send us your cat pictures and videos so your cats can become celebrities. The email to send to is catlife two four seven three six five at gmail dot com. Major appreciation to all the cat warriors out there giving so much for the voiceless street cats, and thank you for supporting our mission here at Cat Life to build the world's largest cat sanctuary and cat people community in 2023. Please be sure to subscribe and join us on our magical cat journey. But until next time, thank you from the bottom of our cat's heart, and be safe, my friends.